All right, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. As you guys saw from my previous video, we took it out, got it all washed up now. Ran good, but um, at the end of the day, I lost lost a cylinder. <laughs> uh, as you guys know, I just put this motor in, so I was a little scared. I broke some internal, but it was just spark. I still got 180 pounds of PSI of uh, compression in it. So hopefully that's all fine. Just got to, uh, I'm gonna clean up the cap real quick, put it back together, and we'll get going with the video. <laughs> Alright, so I got it all figured out. Didn't get it fixed, but it's definitely the cap. I figured I'd just give you guys a look under the hood to see what I'm working with here. <clears throat> like I said, just a 383. The <laughs> fender exit headers, it's got tall um, valve covers, because it has uh, roller rockers, phase two bow tie heads. Stroker crank from uh, Scat. That was uh, the whole kit. I bought the pistons, rods, and crank. Flex plate and harmonic balancer, all from them. It's all balanced together. Obviously, Holly double pumper. Yeah, that's about it. <coughs> Got a uh, aluminum radiator up here. Two fans on the front. I want to put them on the back so they're pulling instead of pushing. Obviously, HEI distributor. The serpentine kit from, um, I forgot what that was from. Let's see here. Uh, the March uh, billet aluminum serpentine kit. I got the trans cooler in the bed, turbo 400, and a 2500 stall on the, <coughs> on the converter. Pretty basic mud truck, I feel like. Pretty simple, pretty cheap. But I'm gonna get this thing loaded up on the trailer. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the video. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this video on seven cylinders. I think it'll be fine. Power windows in the old girl, though. sure what just happened there but uh, throttle definitely got stuck what the heck well, that was weird oh. all right Chuck's on the trailer we just got a short drive down the road oh man you guys can't tell we run uh Racing slicks on everything around here. Trailers, trucks, just about everything there is to run racing slicks on. No trailer lights or brakes, cause uh, 
Brakes are for losers. Alright, we're almost there. Got the 060 uh, chug a lugging on the way out there. But um, just a disclaimer, do not try this at home. This is going to be a professional driver on a closed course. Nah, I'm just, that was totally a lie. I'm about to close course bar, but uh, I might be a professional driver depending on who you ask. But this is a... Uh, Last time we were out here, we had the uh, the cops called on us, so they might show up again, depending on how long we're out here for. I'm sure they will. But I'm gonna try to go all the way in the back as far as I can. This is just the back of my neighborhood. I'll show you guys in a second. It goes from like houses everywhere, nice houses, to absolutely nothing. Just paved roads with weeds growing over it. on the old speed blinker. Everything around here is fast. Oh. She didn't like that. Ooh. So yeah, this is right where it goes to uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> We've been working on that house for about, uh, about a year now. We got really far with it. We're almost done, actually. I forgot to mention today's video is about uh, <coughs> ripping a wheelie because uh, who doesn't want a mud truck that doesn't do a wheelie? It's probably the most American thing ever. You got a mullet, a red Budweiser mud truck, and it does a wheelie. Alright, this is what we go going on for the, uh, the first test. I thought, these, uh, I thought these springs were a little bit softer than they were. But when we tried to uh, strap them down, they uh, didn't really move, so I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to give her hell. That didn't work. <laughs> Second option. This goes good. Wheelie or bust?
like we said, wheelie or bust. Maybe we should have strapped it down. Did it wreck the tailgate? Ah, uh, no. No, you're good. It touched the bumper more than the tailgate. Um. Off it all. Came up a little. Looks like we're gonna have to try this again another day. Do it right now. Four wheel drive. You put it in four? Yeah. Yeah, because it just rolled. <laughs> the oh, truck boy. stayed put this time. <laughs> That's pretty fun. We just had to add 8,000 pounds on the back of it. 8,000 pounds on a gooseneck. <laughs> the old American Chevrolet's getting her done. First time Nate's ever drove a carbureted vehicle, apparently. That's gonna be it for today guys <laughs> we obviously broke the cleat off the trailer from the truck rolling back into it so i'm gonna have to get that fixed um maybe next time we'll send her a little harder if uh i got a different way to do it besides the trailer and a sketchy way to hook it up to the mud truck but if you like this video make sure you uh like share subscribe